All right, this video is a prep video. Basically what I have is a mesh here that is a building, okay? And on many layers, it's got a whole bunch of stuff turned off. This lesson is all about scale, okay? So scale is very important when it comes to texturing. When I see lack of scale, it is lack of realism. So we're going to be studying scale first because it's one of the harder concepts for students to abide by. Really, I, I can't tell you enough about this. You show a student this, and they completely ignore scale, even if you show them a hundred times. So, if I start out right off the bat and address scale, hopefully that helps out. We also have to look at direction of UVs. So to get started, we're going to have to build a map. Okay, and I'm just going to close out all these. I'm going to start out with a file new. And we're going to go with the 64 by 64 pixels. And then we're going to use control wheel mouse and spacebar to pan to it. And we're going to take this and divide it in one half, which is 32, and divide this in half, which is 32. And then we're going to use the selection tool to select the top part and fill that with a dark gray. Oh, and I have to turn this back on to foreground fill. That's right. So there we go. And since it's already kind of that dark gray, I'm just going to go in here and fill this with a lighter gray. Not too light, though. What I found is you want to keep the contrast out of this map because you're going to be staring at it for a very long time. Okay, next I'm going to make a new layer. And the new layer is going to have a selection. So I'm going to select none and select right here down the center. And I want it so it, it bridges the gap between the two. Yeah, just like that. So there's equal now equal amount of spacing between here and here. And this I'm going to assign a little bit brighter of a gray. Not too much. And this is going to go up on that new layer. So hit OK. That's your new layer button. There we go. That's going to be my pattern. So I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to go Edit, Copy Visible. That'll copy both layers at the same time. And then Paste as New Pattern. Now, I've done this a few times, so I, I've already had this pattern in my pattern collection, but I usually call it UV Direction. Okay, And then I make a new map that is 1024 by 1024 and hit OK. And then I use that new pattern with the Fill tool. So I can choose Fill Pattern, and here's UV Direction, and this is what it looks like. What's the difference? These white lines indicate what direction the texture is going to go. We're going to put a brick texture on the building, but I need to know what way the brick texture is going and what way the UVs need to be turned. So that's a good way to do it. Let me save this as a TGA. I'm going to call this UV Direction. By the way, it's over on my other monitor. Here's TGA, UV Direction. And then I got to hit the save button below. I can't hit it here. And then hit save. All right. Now, what we're going to do is go back to Blender, highlight the mesh in edit mode. So go to edit mode, hit A, and you can see the UVs. I've totally destroyed them for you. So you have to rebuild them. And I'm going to go image. Open image, and I'm going to open that map. And that is my prep video for the scene. In the next video, we're going to cover doing the UVs for this building.
and we're going to touch base on things that are going to go wrong, things that are going to go right, and yeah, we're going to have a good old time. So let's go on to the next video.